All right, so this is the HP Compaq 8300 all-in-one desktop PC. Um, it's a 2011. This is filmed in 2020. I got it used. Um, so far, it's been a decent computer for me, but I want to go ahead and upgrade some things. Today, we're going to be upgrading the CPU from an i5-3470 to an i7-3770. We already took out a hard drive that was 500 gigs and we put a 480 gigabyte solid state drive in there. If you're wondering how to clone a drive, I also have a video on that. It was really easy. I used um, Apricorn software. I got it from Best Buy for 40 bucks. I'm gonna air dust all this out, get it real cleaned up. Let's get started. Got my flathead screwdriver. All right, so now we're just gonna lift this out of the way. We're gonna have to unplug our fan here. Set that right there. All right, so here we go. We're gonna take that CPU out. That's the i5-3470, and we're gonna replace it with an i7-3770. Here we go. All right, so here is our old chip. This is the i5-3470. All right, so we got our new processor right here. We're gonna go ahead and take it out. Let me make sure I'm not static and charged again. Nope, I'm good. So we're picking it up. Hopefully you guys can read that. I don't know if you can. Intel Core i7-3770. All right, so here we go, going in. I just wanted to check to see if it would even seat the wrong way. It doesn't look like it will even seat the wrong way. It's got these little notches right here. So you're, you're set when it comes to putting this thing in right, okay? Not a big deal. So we're gonna go ahead and just drop it back in there. Feels pretty good to me, feels seated. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get out our thermal compound, got this off Amazon, it's Arctic brand. Um, had some pretty good reviews, so we're gonna use that. I almost got ahead of myself. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna clean this old thermal compound off there. So I'm just gonna grab me a paper towel here. And I don't necessarily wanna do this right over top of the computer, but I'm gonna go off to the side here, but you see it wipes off fairly easily nice and shiny and clean love it we'll set that back to the side for now all right I'm gonna apply my thermal compound in an X method so I'm gonna do that now X method with a couple of dots. We're gonna recenter that there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and off the camera here. I don't know if you can see if this is pretty dirty. I'm gonna go ahead and run an air duster through that real quick. All right, now that we got this cleaned out and looking good, we're gonna go ahead and put her back on. Actually, I should have closed the latch earlier. And I'm just gonna get these started. And then I'm gonna come back and evenly tighten these. I'm just tightening them enough to where I feel a little bit of resistance and then I'm stopping. All 
All right, so now we've changed out our processor. We've put 16 gigabytes of RAM in there. We've put a 480 gig solid state drive in there. We went from a 500 gigs uh, hard drive. Um, I'm about to air duster the crap out of this thing. Uh, thanks for watching guys. If you like stuff like this, I've got some other videos about cloning this drive and getting that put in there. My next video, I've already got it on the way. I'll be adding the graphics card for this uh, model. It is an AMD Radeon, I believe it's a 7650A, and this is a MXM 3.0 connector, and that is where that board is gonna go. And then we just wrap it up and put the cover back on.